coming up on transitions. No song today because I gave you seven songs yesterday. So instead, I'm doing a vlog. Roll intro. Sully here, the retired tanker yanker. Welcome to Transitions. Well, I hope you got a chance to see my St. Patrick's Day uh, mini living room concert. Uh, as I said in that video, and because I've explained about lead times in order to make sure I edit these things so I can release them on the day I want to release them, the St. Patrick's Day video was recorded yesterday, which was Tuesday so that you would see it today, which is St. Patrick's Day. That's why I'm recording this today for publishing tomorrow, but when you see it, it's going to be yesterday. <clears throat> this is how I spent St. Patrick's Day. Now, I think I mentioned in that video that I had a little trouble getting scheduled for a COVID-19 vaccine. I received my invitation only to find out that there were no appointments available. Well, you wake up, 4 o'clock in the morning, put on Channel 10 News, and what are they saying? Hey, guess what? The FEMA clinic at the Philadelphia Convention Center, or Pennsylvania Convention Center, excuse me, has walk-in service for the next six days. There's two circumstances. One, you have to live in a particular zip code, which they consider underserved, and I happen to live in a particular zip code. And you have to fall into Category 1A or 1B. I fall into Category 1B because of my, you know, health issues. So I figured I'd give it a shot. And when I got down there, I thought maybe this was going to be an all-day proposition. Uh, I got down there about uh, 7.30. That's about the time I got off the subway anyway, around 7.30. And I was out of the building by quarter to ten. I was on the train by ten o'clock and I was home by quarter of eleven so it didn't take all day. But anyway, hey before you watch this vlog of my vaccine adventure be sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Now, how I spent St. Patrick's Day 2021 for real. Well, hello there, Sully here, the retired tanker yanker. Welcome to a special COVID-19 vaccine edition of Transitions. Um, I may have mentioned yesterday, and by the way, I hope you heard that. I hope you got a chance to check out that video, my uh, annual St. Patrick's Day mini living room concert. I mentioned in the monologue that I had a little trouble getting an appointment for my COVID vaccine. I received an invitation to get it. Well, it's today. Today is actually St. Patrick's Day, Wednesday the 17th, which is the day they said they had an appointment for me. And they said no appointment scheduled. Well, I found out this morning that it's a walk-up clinic. You can walk in. You don't need uh, an appointment or a reservation. Just got to be willing to stand in line. Uh, there are some conditions to it. Uh, I am in Group 1B. So I think that's going to be it. Yeah, I think you have to be in Group 1A or 1B. And you also have to live in certain zip codes, which they considered underserved. Well, I happen to live in a certain zip code. So my plan is to drive my car down to the Frankfurt Transportation Center, which is commonly known in the vernacular here in Northeast Philly as Bridge and Pratt. I've always been confused by that because... If somebody's from out of town and you tell them Bridge and Pratt, they're looking for the intersection of Bridge and Pratt Streets. Bridge and Pratt Streets don't intersect. They run parallel. 
they both intersect with Frankfurt Avenue. It's just that the station is on Frankfurt Avenue between Bridge Street and Pratt Street. Hence, Bridge and Pratt. But uh, for the past 20 some odd years, SEPTA has referred to it as the Frankfurt Transportation Center. This is the first time I'm using my SEPTA key card in maybe two years, so I don't know if there's any money left on it or uh, if it'll even work. I have to get a new one. But here goes. I'm going to try to find parking somewhere outside. I, it's, it's about four bucks to park in the garage, which won't break me, but hey, it is what it is. So, without further ado, oh yeah, one thing further ado, make sure you to subscribe to my channel, okay? So anyway, here I am, off to get my first dose of the vaccine, and hopefully they'll let me record while I'm, while I'm getting it. Well, I lucked out, I found a place to park on the street, uh, not a lot of parking, and it is a legal spot. So I don't have to pay for parking now. I got to go into the terminal and find out if there's any money left on my key card. So, on with my mask. Yeah. Sorry about getting my hand in the way. Let's, uh, let's cut this fish. So I did have to get a new key card. And guess what? It worked. Let's glide her up to the trains. <laughs> train is open, but it doesn't look to be any seats on it, and I can't stand. So, I'm just going to have to wait for the next train. Oh well. Okay, so the journey begins. Social distancing on the train is in effect. Uh, okay. Hopefully, uh, I, don't, I won't be waiting too long in line, but if I look back, I don't know how it's going to take all this standing, but huh. I need to do this. I've been waiting months to get this, so we'll see how this walking clinic goes. Getting off at the 11th Street Station, and it tells you how to get to the convention center. I wonder how many of these people are going to get their vaccine and how many of them are just going up, getting off here. Oh boy, more stairs. All right, Sully, here we go. The line's not really nearly as long as I thought it would be. I thought it would be all the way down there and up and back all these lanes here. I'm still expecting to be here. It's, uh, 28. I'm expecting to be here at least till noon. But if I can get out of here sooner. Bonus! I woke from 11th up to 12th. I came up Race, uh, Race Street. Or, or Art Street, maybe. I came up Art Street. Now I'm walking all the way up to Race. Uh, looks like the fuzz are out here, keeping order. Billy's Finest, thank you for your service. So, I just walked all the way around the building. Apparently, there are, they were scheduling appointments, and those people have their own line. This is the walk-in line. 
and you know I was worried about getting my workout in today I just did it I did an entire lap of the Pennsylvania Convention Center and remember when I said I didn't think the line was that long <laughs> right well I think I'm here all day uh, but I've been waiting so long I just hope they have enough vaccine. I hate to be the person who gets up there and they say, oh, sorry, we just ran out. That'll happen to me, though. Because that's the way things happen to me. So, stay posted. Well, as you can see, that's the line. I'm standing here on 11th Street. It goes up to race. All the way the length of race to 12th. Back down 12th. To, uh, arch and the entrance so I'm guessing I'm going to be here I'm making a conservative estimate saying I'm going to be here all day <laughs> that's as conservative as I can be so YouTube what do you think of me standing in line here my old uh, girlfriend Carol upstate used to have an expression about people who stand in line it's very politically incorrect and I'm not going to repeat it because it's kind of vulgar it is what it is. So, we've been uh, moving in line for about a half an hour and I'm already up to 12th in the uh, race. So, we're going into the home stretch. It's still a lot faster than I thought. I might be out of here by 10 o'clock. So, let's see how it goes went through the pre-screening to make sure I was eligible. Uh, I showed him my ID so they could see the card. Then I showed him the heart monitor that Dr. Vile has me wearing. So that makes me eligible. And now we're moving right along. So who knows? This could take less time than I thought. Oh, ID out? Yeah. Okay. There. So it's about an hour since I even actually arrived here. And I'm already inside. So, I guess this is going to be the slow part. they got to still answer questions. I've already had to go through two ID screenings. And see how this goes. I have no idea if they're going to let me record getting the vaccine, but get ready for disappointment if you're looking forward to it. That's the door. And I'm almost in the door. I'm going in the door. I'm going in the door. I'm going in the door. Well, it seems like this whole thing was standing in line so you can stand in another line so you can stand in another line. I don't know. I don't even know if they're going to let me video when I get my needle, but it looks like I'm just about the end. I've only been here waiting about an hour and a half so like I said all day this is not going to take all day how about that okay here I am sitting down about to get it here's the star of our show looks like uh Navy Navy okay uh, my, my, my father was a CB oh nice during the second world war yeah he's had a few CBs uh, whenever you're ready I'll take your ID sir please. okay hold on a second Put you on, well, I'm not gonna put you on YouTube. I'm gonna put me on YouTube. Absolutely fine. Okay, you need license. There's my Medicare card. Oh, license and Medicare. Okay. Yep, that's the one today. Left or right? Uh, it doesn't matter. We'll do left. Left. Well, that's the closest one to you. Yep. Absolutely. I'm not going to show his face, but it looks like the uh, gentleman giving me a shot. Is that Petty Officer Johnson? Uh, Agent One, yes. Okay. So you want to take a seat? If you want to have your ID ready, I'll be right with you. So, here it comes. Yep, that's your COVID vaccination card. 
Whenever we're done, you'll head to that room over there. You can make your secondary appointment. Okay. Come back in three weeks, get your second dose of Pfizer. That's what I'm getting, Pfizer? Yes, sir. Okay. I hope my sister Rita is watching this. She's been bugging me about this. All my friends have been bugging me. Didn't feel a thing. <laughs> All right, thank you, Eric. Observation area. This is where I'm going to be observed to make sure I don't have a reaction. If something happens, it'll probably be within the first 15 minutes. So I just called my sister, my older sister. Told her that I got my first dose. And she's gonna stop bothering me. So it is what it is. But anyway, here we go. As soon as I get out of here, I'm gonna go back to the L. I don't mark a subway right for L. And then head home. The 11th Street subway station. Uh, just waiting for the next train. I just missed a train getting on here. Uh, back in the day when I could move a lot faster, I probably would have caught it, but uh, I just gotta wait for the next one. It is what it is. Well, fortunately, I didn't have to wait too long for a train. And I guess you can see it's not exactly a crowded train at the time of day. I guess that's because not so many people are going to work or anything. Trains are uh, relatively not packed. Anyway, it's not even 10 o'clock and I'm already done with what I had to do today. I thought I was going to be here all day. So, who knows? I have to be home by lunchtime. That's a heck of a deal, I'll tell you. Well, I'd have to say that the whole process was relatively painless. Even where I got the uh, injection. I didn't feel a thing. I have scheduled my second dose for three weeks from today, April 7th. I scheduled it while I was down there. and. I'll be uh, repeating the process. No vlog for that one, I don't think. Because, you know, you've already seen it. So, just want to let you know that I'm feeling better about myself that I got the first dose. After I get the second dose, I'll feel even better. And two weeks after that, when the vaccine takes effect, I will feel a lot more safer than I do now. And I'll be more inclined to go out in public. Not that I did a lot of that before COVID, but it is what it is. So, you know, I hope that if you haven't gotten your COVID vaccine yet, that you uh, get it as soon as possible. I think things are going to open up a little bit more. But anyway, take care of yourself, people. Be safe. Remember what I said when this whole started. We will get by. We will survive. Well, we can see the light of the at the end of the tunnel now. So, it's pretty safe to say that we will get by, we will survive for transitions. I'm Sully, the retired tech manager. Safe and happy travels.